हेलो एवरीवन वार्म गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू दिस इज मी तपोस कुमार प्रधान ए स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम पॉलिटिकल साइंस एंड आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू टू दिस सेशन ऑफ माय यूट्यूब चैनल हाउ आर यू एवरीवन आई होप यू आर फाइन फिट एंड वेल एज यू नो दैट वी आर इन ए कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ द सीरीज ऑफ द क्रोनोलॉजी बेस्ट क्वेश्चन एंड देर एक्सप्लेनेशन रिलेटेड टू द कॉम्पिटेटिव पॉलिटिक्स सो गाइज इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द स्टेजेस ऑफ द पोलिटिकल डेवलपमेंट according to the edward said so according to edward said we are going to discuss about the stages of the political development so guys without delay let's get start our discussions so edward said basically uh, gave the different uh, the uh, political de- development or the transition of the uh, political uh, how the um, uh, the political system are transition from the one uh, state of the uh, system to another state of system so he talk about basically five stages of the political development in any kind of political development the political development is go through uh, these five stages okay guys go through these five stages what are that that there is a political democracy first of all in any society there is a political development the first stage is political democracy according to the edward said so what does it mean by the political democracy so we will understand first of all let's go the all the stages then the tutelary democracy then there is a modernizing oligarchy then there is a totalitarian oligarchy then there is a traditional oligarchy so guys the uh, political democracy means like the uh, universal adult franchise or the equal political equality okay democratic equality so all will be get the equal uh, right to votes okay so equal access to the public office that is how the political democracy is mean by political democracy okay so this is how the things for example in western country we see the political rights or is a vote in 1828 so that is how the things then the tutelary democracy when there is a political democracy also but in this political system there only the election take place in a democratic way but there is a concept like there is a corruptions there is a nepotism there is a favoritism so that is guys known as the your uh, tutelary democracy tutelary democracy in this post democratic regime the corruption the malpractice the nepotisms the favoritism are there so this is how the concept guys your tutelary democracy then next concept like the modernizing oligarchy so guys in this modernizing oligarchy what happen in the modern country or western country like the europe germany uh, the uh, france so people are quite uh, not aware about the political system they are engaged with the economic activity they are engaged with their private concern rather than the political activity they neglect the political participation so there is a how modernizing oligarchy although there is a modern but this oligarchy is led to development the modernizing oligarchy so few of the economic power are there that is how the modernizing oligarchy then guys there is a total ten oligarchy total ten oligarchy means what when the people are modern and there is a elite class and there is people are engaged with their own private activity and there is automatic total ten we can see yes guys total ten we will see if you will not concern about the political activity then there is automatically we can found that government are working on their own interest they are not consider the interest of people that is how the concept modernizing oligarchy for example in germany in germany the jew people are working for their own private life for the economy benefited so in that time there is a totalitarian regime are developed which is also mentioned by or the uh, analyzed by the hanna rendered yes guys by the hanna rendered mm-hmm. then next concept is like the traditional oligarchy so this totalitarian oligarchy automatically converted into traditional oligarchy so it became self authority it became self order and now it is basically converted to a traditional oligarchy so this is how the five stages of the political development given by edward said uh, as the uh, consider the western political system as a idol model so this is how the thing first one is the political development second one is political democracy second one is like uh, totalitarian democracy third one is like your uh, the modernizing oligarchy fifth one is like the totalitarian oligarchy then the uh, sorry fourth one totalitarian oligarchy then the fifth one is like the traditional oligarchy traditional oligarchy so uh, this is all about the thing but here guys our video is not stop another concept are there the development of the different concept development of the different concept that is also crucial for the uh, exam point of view chronological order because this uh, nowadays 
examiner quite interesting to ask the chronology based question of the development concept and which i am going to tell with you that this concept is not a like a uh, unpopular concept the very significant and popular concept from the a unique and dynamic scholar okay or the author first like due process of law so guys due process of law one of the principle of the magna carta which is basically ever evolved to talk about that rights the duty the norms the for the development of people that is how the due process of law then guys another concept like democratic centralism so democratic centralism it is a concept of the lenin it is a concept of the lenin in his what is to be done the 1902 the lenin gave the concept democratic centralism that talk about although there is a leader who will be elected by the people but this leader at the root level will work according to the wish and interest of the central leader that is how there is a democratic centralism and in this democratic centralism the political party is a vanguard of the revolution the vanguard of the revolution okay guys so this is how the democratic centralism given by concept the lenin so next concept is like your new democracy so new democracy concept given by mao zedong yes guys mao zedong in the year of 1950 they gave the new democracy uh, they basically criticize the western model of democracy and argue that the democracy is basically uh, not only the consist with the capitalist class it is a consist with the four block four block means like there is a uh, also capital the peasantry class also there is a petty bourgeois also there is a proletariats also there is a, a middle class so different class are there so this is how it is a combination of the all known as the uh, national uh, united front nation known as the united uh, front nation so it is consist with the interest of all that is a new democracy but in western democracy it is old democracy according to the mao zedong so this is how new democracy concept in the year of 1950 then feedback system this feedback system given by david aston in the year of 1965 that is how one of the famous concept of david aston 1965 the feedback system so guys this is all about the development of concept we generally understand first due process of love second is like your democratic centralism third one is like your uh, the uh, new democracy then the fourth one is like feedback systems so this is all about the today's lecture of the chronology based question from the comparative politics i hope it is a clear clear to you and uh, as you can see that uh, uh, this thing we basically successful cover and uh, uh, this is from my sets and if you like my such the effort in this hot uh, uh, basically environment you can see that my uh, position here so uh, you can uh, share with your friend and subscribe and help to me also by uh, liking my sessions and uh, you can be also be a part of the our society thank you guys have a nice day and do share with your friend because sharing is always caring thank you guys have a nice day